Hello, it's Miss Bell, and I'm going to be reviewing Thursday's Daily Language. I have my page exactly like yours. I just chose to use a cover for the other days, so that way I could focus just on Thursday. So that's why mine might look just a little different. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first question. Add an ending punctuation mark to the sentence below. Wow, I can't believe it! Oh, I'm out of breath. Can you all help me find the ending punctuation? Yes, you are correct. It's an exclamation mark. The wow gives it away. Whenever I say wow, I'm usually pretty dramatic, so we need a dramatic exclamation mark to end this as well. The next one says, correct the mistake in the sentence. Just one, so listen carefully. Red star are the oldest stars in the sky. Red star are the oldest stars in the sky. Did you find it? What's incorrect about this sentence? Yes, we need to change star into stars. It gives it away because the second or the word directly after star says R. That lets me know that there's more than one. Red stars are the oldest in the sky. Raise your hand if you are today years old when you found out that there's actually red stars up in the sky too. Yeah, I know. Isn't that amazing? I'm going to scroll up so you can see the other ones. Underline all the nouns in this sentence. Let's refresh for a second. So nouns, they can be a person, a place, a thing, or even an idea. An idea like love, for example, could be a noun. Let's look at this sentence and see if we can find some nouns. The sun is larger than all are planets and moons. So, I hope on your paper you said that a sun is a noun. Because it is a thing, and I guess technically it's a place too, although we can't visit it. Also, I spy planets, another place that we could technically visit. And last but not least, moons. These are our nouns for today. I'm gonna scroll up. Well, which noun should be capitalized? Let's review this for a second. We are going to capitalize nouns when they are the name of specific places like the state of North Carolina or Denver or Lincoln Charter School. We would capitalize it when it's the name of a person like Mrs. Bell or if it's the name of a book or a movie. For example, one of my favorite books is Wonder. So let's look and see which ones are proper nouns and which ones are just common regular nouns that we do not have to capitalize. A book, a book's not being specific, so it's just a common regular noun. We do not need to capitalize it. Ooh, Harry Potter, that is the name of a character. So we would definitely need to capitalize Harry and Potter, his first and last name. Magazine, well, which magazine? If we were talking about a specific magazine, we would need to capitalize, but in this case, it's just a common noun and it can stay as it is. Is the verb past, present, or future tense? Remember, a verb is what you do, an action. Some of my favorite verbs that I like to do are swimming and singing and dancing. What's your favorite verb? Ah, I like that too. 
Let's look at this sentence and see if we can figure out the verb and then we can determine if it happened in the past, if it's happening right now in the present, or if it's happening in the future. Scientists will explore the sun more. Ah, I see it too. Explore, will explore. Scientists will explore that. Scientists will explore that in the past? No, that doesn't make any sense. Scientists will explore right now? Mm, no. Scientists will explore in the future. Ah, future tense sounds better. And I believe in the KISS method. Keep it simple, silly. So I'm just going to circle future tense right here. Ta-da! All right, let's look right here. Write an adverb that could describe how you read. I spy with my little eye a word inside of adverb that makes it not so overwhelming. Do you see it too? Look really closely. Did you say verb? You're correct. It is verb. So an adverb has something to do with a verb. Now, if you remember earlier, we said a verb is an action that you do. So an adverb describes how you do it. So let's go back and let's talk about how I love to sing. I can sing loudly. Loudly would be my adverb. How could we read? I read, hmm, how could I read? I read quickly. Quickly could be a way of reading. That could be an adverb. You could have said enthusiastically, which means that you were excited about what you were reading. You could read slowly or quietly as to not disturb others. There's multiple different adverbs that you could use here. And last but not least, write a compound word that means an imprint of a foot. Compound is where you have two words smashed together to make one. Hmm. What could be a word, one word, that means an imprint of a foot? Oh, I got it. Foot print. That is one word that means an imprint of a foot. Good job, guys. I enjoyed working with you today on this, and I hope you did too. We'll see you later.